top five programming languages for you to learn in 2020 to get a job without even needing a college degree. I make a video on this topic every single year and you guys seem to eat it up. A video I made in 2018 got over 2 million views and another one I made in 2019 got over 1 million views. I just want to say thank you so much. I love your beautiful face. I love the support they give to this channel. Let's continue. Now, just like my last few videos, we are going to be ranking the programming languages on three main factors. Number one, the time it takes for you to learn even if you're a complete beginner and make real world projects. Number two, the job market. What is the demand and the overall salary that you can make with this programming language in 2020? And number three, what is your overall productivity going to be with this programming language? This really matters when it comes to your own personal development with coding. How fast can you build real world projects? And when you're working at startups and smaller companies, they need people to be able to build real applications in a much shorter amount of time. By the way, I would love if you help me beat the YouTube algorithm. It's been destroying my channel. If you want to help me do that, smash that like button. Like, no, like really just go and destroy that like button, okay, right now. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's keep going. What's up guys, this is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. Now before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, and we talk about different languages, there are multiple programming languages where you can make over $100,000 a year. Before we get into that, I do wanna let you know that I have put together a really amazing three-part masterclass for you, especially if you wanna become a freelance developer and be on your path to go from zero to six figures per year. The way you can get your hands onto that training is by clicking the link below in the description and signing up for it. The best part, it's absolutely free. So go ahead and do that now. Let's continue. Number five, Java. Java, Java, Java. It's a pretty amazing programming language that a lot of people know. This is the object-oriented programming language and this is used in lots of Android applications. That's one of the primary reasons why people use Java as of even today. Lots of big companies are still using Java. There are lots of trading applications made with it as well. It's currently declining a little bit in popularity because of programming languages languages like Kotlin, which you can now use to create Android applications in. This is why if you look at the Google trends, you will see in the last five years, Java has a little decline. Outside of that, there's still lots of jobs that are offered for Java and the salary for an average Java developer in the United States is $103,000 a year according to indeed.com. Number four, Swift. Swift is an iOS programming language that is used for Apple. If you ever dreamed of making an app that shows up in the app store, ranks highly, or you wanna be able to make you know, the dream of every developer ever, make monthly recurring income or passive income from an app that they created with passion, love, and heart, and put it out into the app store, and people in the Apple world can download it and use it. That is why you would learn Swift. Now you can freelance with it or you can get a full-time job. It's a very popular language. It's not getting more popular, but the great thing is it's not also going down. It has been stable over the last five years if you look across on Google Trends. That shows me that it's a very stable programming language, not going anywhere, and it's great to invest your time in and to learn it. I would say it's really beginner friendly as well. There are tons of tutorials on YouTube that support the learning of it, but not only that, it's a lot of fun. Java is a pain in the ass to learn if you are a complete beginner, but I think Swift is a little bit easier to learn just because you can make stuff and put it on your iOS device and it's a lot of fun. Awesome programming language. Average salary of a developer in the United States is $115,000 a year, according to Indeed.com. Number three, SQL. I call it SQL. Both ways are completely fine of calling it. This programming language, some people will argue it's not actually a programming language. 
there it ultimately doesn't matter. This is called structured query language. That's what SQL stands for. And why I recommend learning this and why I think it's so important for everybody to actually know some of this is almost no matter what programming language you're gonna work with, if you ever dream of creating applications, uh, web applications, you're gonna have to deal with data. When you have to deal with data, you're pretty much not gonna get away if you don't understand SQL, okay? So if you wanna make an application that can store data and save information, for example, if you go on Instagram, right? When you like somebody's comment or you like somebody's post, that like is stored somewhere. Or when you make a post on Instagram or Facebook, that post is stored somewhere. When you log back in, that post is still there. Guess what is saving your post? It's SQL. It's SQL being able to talk to databases, all right? So that's why I think this programming language, this language, query language, is very, very important to learn. I put it at number three, but I think this is very, very vital in almost any type of development you wanna do, especially any web development you wanna do, whether you wanna become a back-end developer or a full-stack developer, you kinda have to know SQL. It will serve you really, really well. And the average salary of a SQL developer is $89,000 a year in United States, according to indeed.com. Number two, JavaScript. Ooh, this one is a controversial one. Everybody goes crazy. Why did you pick JavaScript number two? Why isn't it number one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's gonna go crazy in the comments. JavaScript, according to the Pipel Index and the Google Trends, JavaScript at number two in popularity compared to the number one language, which I will be talking about after this. But let's get into what can you do with JavaScript. JavaScript is a very incredible programming language. If you have dreams and aspirations to do anything related to web development, creating web applications, you're probably gonna need to learn JavaScript. Whether you wanna do full stack or front end development or back end development, it would help you to know JavaScript to a good extent. JavaScript is a very popular language. If you even look on GitHub, there's always a new framework coming out for it. And there are tons of amazing frameworks and libraries always being produced for JavaScript, right? Like for example, you got React, people talk about Vue.js, there's all kinds of craziness that goes around JavaScript. Even if you forget all the trendy stuff that's happening around, it's just a great programming language. Every web browser supports it and runs JavaScript. And I think it's one of the must know tools that you need in your arsenal when it comes to programming and web development, especially. The average salary of a JavaScript developer, according to Indeed.com in United States is $113,000 a year. Real quick for those of you JavaScript nerds, I wanna give you a resource that will help you on your journey to becoming a JavaScript developer. I scour the internet for a lot of stuff, you know, whether it's Udemy or Udacity or Coursera or just YouTube in general or some of my own courses. One thing I found that's actually really useful is on Skillshare, I found this course that's on JavaScript. And this course is very, very helpful. This, I think, will help you. I would recommend for you to check this course out. It looks pretty good. If you use the link that I have below in the description for Skillshare, you'll get actually two months of premium for free. So I would highly recommend go check it out. Skillshare, they have really amazing tutorials. This tutorial, to me specifically, by Chris looks useful. Give it a try. With that said, let's jump right back into the video. And number one, drum roll please, Python. Python is the number one programming language and now it's not just according to me anymore, guys. That's a beautiful thing. According to Google Trends in the last five years, it's now officially the number one most popular language. And also according to the Pipel Index, it is the number one most popular programming language. What's amazing about Python is a general purpose programming language that you can use for many different things, but it's also very powerful. Before I get into the use cases of it, let me just tell you what types of companies use Python. So Google is built off of Python, YouTube is built off of Python, Dropbox, Quora, Hipmunk, Reddit, Instagram, and the list goes on. 
This is just to give you a taste of what types of things you can build with Python. So if you want to do web development, you could do it with Python. There are many different frameworks and libraries in Python that support and allow you to do lots of data science applications. And the real reason why Python has become so goddamn popular is because of data science. Data science has grown so much over the last few years, right? According, like look at the self-driving cars, the self-checkout at Walmart that's being implemented, Google self-driving cars, Tesla self-driving cars, and lots of the automation and machine learning algorithms that are being done as of today, a lot of them are being done in Python and that has skyrocketed its growth. Why I really put it at number one is because it's very beginner friendly. Out of all of the last four languages that I've talked about, this is probably the easiest to pick up. But the amazing thing is you can build real world projects with Python and do that very, very fast. You can do web development really well with Python with its frameworks like Django or Flask. Those are unbelievable. And you can go on and do data science with it as well. I do think the language that you pick and choose and stick with matters. It's just like where you live matters and defines your culture and your accent and everything around you and kind of the things that you grow up to do. So I think the language that you start off with first defines a lot of things you're gonna do, right? For example, if you start with Swift and learn a lot of Swift, you're probably gonna become or much more likely to be influenced by iOS applications because you're spending a lot of time building them and learning them and you'll very likely end up doing something in the iOS section. If you learn Java, you're gonna to spend a lot of time around Android applications. So it's really important what your goal is. If your goal is to make Android apps, go with Java. If your goal is to make iOS apps, go with Swift. If your goal is to just do web development and that's kind of it, go with JavaScript and stick with Node.js and all those frameworks. If your goal is to just do stuff with databases and become a data analyst and specialize in that section, go with SQL. But if your goal is to do web development or you wanna do machine learning or data science or any of those things, then you definitely want to stick with Python. It's easy, gives you tons of flexibility. And the other amazing reason is the average salary for a developer in the United States, according to Indeed.com, is $118,000 a year. So there you have it, all five programming languages that are incredible for you to learn in 2020 to get a job without even needing a college degree. As long as you have the skill set, the determination, and the persistence to go through. Please help beat the YouTube algorithm and give this video a like, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I do have a three-part masterclass for you that helps you become a freelance developer with Python, go from zero to making six figures. This masterclass that I have for you is absolutely free. So you lose nothing and you gain everything. So go ahead, click the link below, sign up for this masterclass. I love your face. This is Kazi, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, no, damn, damn, damn.